Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. In this video, I want to show you how you can use Redshift to automatically create round corner shading here on those sharp edges. This model is coming from a CAD import and as you can see, the edges are very sharp, as I already mentioned, and also all of these planar surfaces have a lot of geometry that makes it hard to bevel the geometry of these objects. So let me show you how this looks in the rendering. So I've got Redshift enabled. You can see that here in the render settings. And now here in the Redshift menu in the viewport, I start the IPR. And here you can see it is rendering, but it's not looking too good. So let's create the bevels in the material. I open up the material manager. I've already got a Redshift standard material and I open it up. So here is the node editor. And now I hit the plus button here and we can either search for round corners or we navigate to utility surface and here we find round corners let me just add this to the node editor and close this one and now we need to connect the output of the round corners to the bump map input all right now you can see that a lot happened so this is quite strong so let me reduce the radius here let's go to 0.1 and now you can see that it's already looking much better there's way more life here especially on the edges of these holes it's still too much but i want to show you something else here there seems to be a connection between the planar surface and this part of the object and this is because round corners is considering all objects for its round corner shading if you don't want that you have to tick consider same object only and now you can see it looks like there is no connection like these are separate parts all right and now we can go much lower here let's go with 0.02 which is looking way more natural and also it is really important to go low with these values because this is just a shading effect so it doesn't have an actual impact on the geometry which means that if you have a close-up on one of these bevels the effect will somehow break especially on corners all right now let me show a comparison rendering so here we've got a rendering without round corners and here we've got a rendering with round corners enabled and you can see it looks way better we've got these highlights here everywhere and we've got way more natural edges everywhere as you can see, it also has an impact on the render time, but compared to manually modeling these bevels into the geometry, that's nothing. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, and subscribe.